Hello. Today in this new session, we are going to start uh, the LT KPI classification and performance management. So we'll go in step by step method to understand what are the different KPIs in LT system and how do we manage the performance in the network. So to start with, uh, I'll discuss some bullet points which we are going to cover in this session. So the points are uh, the KPI functions and the classifications of the KPIs. We'll be having counters classification and triggering points for all the KPIs. We'll be discussing the troubleshooting techniques from global trials and uh, some ex experience and uh, uh, some case studies which will clarify how to troubleshoot optimization and uh, we'll have uh, a discussion on the layering strategy involved in the mobility part. So these are all the bullet points which we are going to discuss in the session. So to start with uh, the Evolved Packet System, so I'll just give you an overview of this uh, ETS. You already know the architecture in our previous videos and I hope you already remember the architecture of LT network. It starts with um, the e node B or evolved node B followed by other entities like MME and SZW, PCW, ECRF, HSS, SESN and uh, other entities like uh, MSC, DLR or CSFB. Also we have IP networks and I hope you are also familiar with the interfaces throughout the default packet system that is the X2 interface between the e -Node B and e -Node B, uh, the S1 U interface and S1 MME interface that means the S1 user plane interface to SCW and uh, uh, the control plane interface to the MME and other interfaces like S6A from HSS to MME, S10 from MME to MME, S11 from MME to SCW, GX interface between PZW and ECRF, SCA interface between IP network and the PZW. Also you came across the S4 interface which connects the SCW to the SCSM and uh, S3 interface which connect from MME to SCSM. So I hope you already uh, had a detailed understanding of the network architecture of the LD system so as the interfaces. So just wanted to give a review on this uh, EPS. Moving forward we'll be having a detailed discussion on the EPS bearers. There are basically two, two kind of bearers uh, in the EPS or the whole packet system. Uh, number one is default bearer which is established by the UE um, at connection to the network maintained until if the UE is not switched off or you know it's not out of coverage. So a default barrier uh, is connected throughout the time the UE is connected to the network. And the second type of bearer is the dedicated bearer which is established by the network to allow flow of traffic between the UE and the PCW and is maintained until the data transfer happens. So these are the two main bearers available in the APS system. Uh, to understand the bearers, we had also a topic which we already covered regarding bearers. To take some of the summary of uh, bearers, I would say the APS bearer is, is a bearer between the UE and the PCW. And from PZW to PINTD, we are having this external bearer. We are having e wrap between the SCW and the UE and S5 SA bearers between SCW and PCW. The data radio bearer are between e B and UE and S1 is in the S1 U uh, interface. That means uh, between the e B and the SCW, we are having S1 bearers. That's all about the bears and uh, we are having various QoS associated with the dedicated bearers as for the requirement and as for 
uh, the network settings. Moving forward, we'll be having a detailed discussion on the attached procedure. So let's go about it. So uh, we'll discuss uh, about the attached procedure. It's very simple. Starting from uh, the system information in the downlink uh, from the network or from the inode B towards uh, the radio, radio coverage area. Uh, we initiate uh, random access preamble, we get the random access response. Then we initiate uh, the RRC connection setup and uh, then uh, we get the RRC connection complete message. We initiate the UE identity request towards the MME. Uh, we get a UV uh, identity response in the downlink. Then we initiate the authentication request and we get authentication response. Uh, then the security mode command and uh, the security board uh, complete message from the MME side. Then we do this uh, uh, UE capability checking. Uh, in the in OB side, we initiate a UE capability check command and the UE reverts with its capability information. Then we have uh, the reconfiguration, physical channel reconfiguration uh, from the inode B and uh, the, uh, uh, between the inode B and the UE. After this uh, RRC connection reconfiguration complete, we actually transfer the uplink information uh, towards the inode B and uh, in the NAS procedure we are having this uh, uplink NAS transport attached complete which happens exactly after the RRC connection reconfiguration complete. So that's all about the attached procedure. Uh, then very important uh, uh, to understand how the EPS default bearer and the EPS uh, um, dedicated bearer are set up in the uh, LT uh, network. So we'll go with the default bearer first. In the first step, then we initiate a message to the SZW as a you know when it wants to create a session it initiates a create session request with the QCI the MBR and the ZVR values QCI is nothing but the quality class identifier ZVR is uh, guaranteed bit rates and uh, MBR is uh, uh, maximum bit rates for any kind of uh, services um, so after this uh, create session request from the MME towards the, towards the SCW we have another request from SCW to PZW same create session request with us QCI, ZBR and MBI information then the third step is um, the PZW again initiate the control credit request to the PCR with all these values QCI, ZVR and MBR and the PCR, PCRF uh, or the policy and charging related uh, information uh, entity initiates uh, control credit answer which is uh, requested from control credit request from GPZW it reverts back to PZW as a control credit answer with Authorized QCI's ZVR and MBI information because all this uh, QCI information is there in the PCRF. In the fifth step, the PZW initiate and uh, you know uh, information to the SCW create session response. At this point of time, that PZW actually responds to the uh, create session request after getting the information from the PCRF or the QCI, ZVR and MDR values. After this create session response from the PZW to SCW, same create, response, create session response is forwarded to the MME and the MME then in the seventh step forwarded the same information or the initial context setup request to the inode B with QCI, ZVR and MDR values. In the last step or the eighth step, the E node B initiates the initiate context setup response to the MM. That's all about uh, the EPS default bearer setup. Um,
dedicated beer is a little bit different. Uh, the first step is when the PCRF initiates a decision provision with QCI value, ZVR and MDI information to the PZW. In the second step, the PZW initiate create bearer request to the uh, uh, SCW with QCI, ZVR and MDI information. In the third step of the dedicated bearer setup, the SCW initiate uh, create bearer request again to the MME and uh, the MME uh, initiates uh, the ERAP uh, setup request to the NODB with all these values uh, QCI, ZVR, MDR and TFT. The additional value TF is, uh, TFT is added from MME towards the NODB. This is the fourth step wherein we initiate the ERAP setup request to the NODB with QCI value, maximum bit rate and uh, guaranteed bit rate along with the TFT information. In the fifth step, the E node B reverts back to the MME with the ERAP setup response. In the sixth, sixth step, uh, create bearer response is forwarded from MME to SCW, and again, uh, create, create bearer response is reverted from SCW to PZW. And in the final step, provisioning is acknowledged from the PZW towards the PCRF. So, this is how the um, PPS default and dedicated bearers are set up. So we have gone through these procedures. I hope you enjoyed a lot, uh, and uh, I hope you also learned the default and the dedicated bearer setup in LT system. In the next session, we'll be discussing more about the QoS. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned with our channel. Do subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button below and. Uh, do share. Thank you so much. Keep sharing, keep studying. Take care. Bye-bye.